What's good, YouTube, and welcome to the house. We've had our ban list drop here today, and it was insane. And I know I'm Europe illiterate. I know now that the day goes in front of the month for Europe, and uh, we're not having some teaser three months away. I apologize for that on my previous video, but let's go ahead and get into the crazy things that are happening in the market. Some of these cards will get rebought out and respike later. A lot of them will climb back down. So I want to discuss what I think about the cards and what will continue to go up versus what's at its proper price. Trickstar Reincarnation, people thought it might be on the list. It was floating around 18 to 19. We see it spike to $35 and $40 almost immediately. People will be trying to sell these all day. People will decide if they want to buy them or not at the list prices and we'll kind of see a price settle over the next few days. Uh, but what should be going up in is, is stuff like Candina. We're seeing full sets sell very fast and it's headed towards $6 here from its $4 price. And people will continue to pick these up all day as they decide, well, I'm going to YCS Atlanta and I want to be playing the deck that was taking the most of the top cut besides Spiral. This is what I'm moving now towards as a meta player. Uh, we have Trickstar Light Stage. It's going to continue to go up as well, probably. Uh, we've been seeing it continue to sell. Lily Bell, a lot of people only play one. People were actually investing, thinking, well, hey, Trickstars, they're going to get hit. A lot of us are going to be moving to playing more Lily Bells in our decks, uh, except they didn't hit it at all besides Goku. Goku's like the only hit to the deck. They still have three scapegoats. They still have so much. And I honestly, they picked up more tricks throughout the, the format. A card that I think is really being underestimated, but is receiving a buyout, is Mind Control. Mind Control, we see it here, $6. $6 uh, for a heavily played. So it doesn't even exist on TCG Player for this variant, WC5. We'll check that on eBay in a second. But uh, everything else is uh, basically, all oh, hollow versions of it seem to be getting a bit of a boost we have it at three dollars already here for even the gold rare which people despise for some reason and then the uh legendary collection yuki's world ultra is starting to go up as well we have uh the lowest near mint now sitting at 320 this is a card you're gonna want to have three of in your arsenal the the format especially if it moves towards stun you're gonna want to steal your opponent's cards and link summon with them because stun with inspector border we've got three thunder king people are very much so likely to head towards stun like decks you're gonna want to have these cards at least to side and it was seeing play in the ocg so we still see like three copies of the commons at a dollar here on eBay, unless that's sold. Let's let's go ahead and refresh. Nope, that's still there. And then we see a, a lot of the comments starting to go up past a dollar, but those uh, variants on TCG Player, if you can find the sellers, they're still going to be even cheaper. Hollows like the, the premium gold, I believe, although all these are now heavily in light played. Let's see here. Lowest near mint is at a dollar some odd, and you would have to find other cards from Core TCG to buy because $2 is the minimum. You definitely want three mind controls in my opinion. This is one that's gonna continue to creep up. And then uh, I think we're gonna see it played a lot at YCS Atlanta. Uh, bottomless Trap Holt, uh, champion pack four variant is going up. Uh, it's at 103 versus its quote unquote market price of uh, 85. It's a card that had been slowly going down despite being a collector's card. Then we see French uh, and German being the lowest. And the only English being 105, these are the only copies. I expect this to continue to fall off quantity wise. At three, I expect stun decks to be trying to incorporate this into their back row. It's definitely still a really good card even here in 2018. And I think it's, uh, you know, people no longer can be using Max C Ultimate Rares. This is kind of one of those collection and playability cards that are gonna mix together well and start to continue to spike up from where it's at. So the, these are kind of my initial thoughts from the ban list. Trickstars, ABCs, and Invoked are probably going to be the best decks. So right now, nobody's really looking at Invoked, but it, it took a strong first at a huge regional, and it was the deck piercing the top cut alongside Spirals and Trickstars when Spirals were at full power. So I think Invoked is being highly underestimated. Nobody's immediately going for it. And it's probably a deck you, or engine that you want to have access to. We've even seen Trickstar Invoked before do very well. It's like you have a secondary engine that can be working in your deck besides just the trick stars that puts powerful monsters on board and as link summoning gets stronger i believe the invoked engine will be stronger as well as you can put more strong fusion monsters and other monsters out on the board 
Uh, Infernoids were kind of in the back of my mind. Uh, Void Vanishment is over here sitting at, what, the $6 mark. It's pretty crazy, actually. But it's continually gone up as speculation were like, the ban list isn't going to hit this this is good uh, in the OCG alongside Full Power Spiral. So we could see it, but nothing happened with Grass. Uh, and uh, we do have the counter, I guess, to Ash Blossom, although you have to banish your hand. So for the left arm offering, that doesn't really help against Ash there. So I, I have mixed feelings about Infernoids, but they are a very good deck nonetheless that can pierce the regional top cut at least. We'll see about YCS. It's kind of a blown open meta, but let's face it, Trickstars, there, there are new overlords for sure. I was looking at the rest of Infernoids, they've, they've continuously gone kind of down or around their market price, and uh, you can pick them up relatively cheap still, so it's something to consider, but th these keep getting bought out, the ultimate rares. I've watched Infernoids continue to receive buyouts, so maybe people figure this is their time. We'll see its representation over at Atlanta. We see certain versions of them go up, we see others, and they're going down. It's, it's just a weird kind of speculation on specific cards of theirs. Heavy Metal Foes Electrum Knight is still sitting at 60. I just wanted to kind of show it on this day that it's still trying to sit up here. Uh, people quickly listing under that $70 mark where they weren't before, trying to get rid of them. Uh, as Pendulum Magicians are somewhat considered to be dead, I, I think they'll still see play, but they definitely lost a huge amount of consistency. Iris and Joker were two of their best cards. We'll see how the Pendulum decks actually play out. Maybe Metal Foes will be the actual way to go now as we have lost pendulum magicians or hybrids of th that kind of deck to speak but uh this card's definitely not as good as it once was and now extreme forces is kind of looking like a a, a bottom heavy set instead of top heavy a lot of the good cards were were released low rarity so it's going to be very odd to see the market like balance like will is sold to go up in price i i'm not relatively sure on that uh, let's go ahead and look at the next card. Solemn Judgment. Retro Pack 1. Completely bought out to the point where the lowest listings are $120. Guys, it's it's a one of. We'll see these prices come back down a little bit. I realize Retro Pack is so hype and all that stuff. But we'll, we'll definitely see these prices uh, slowly creep back down. Solemn Judgment. Ghost Rare. Apparently you had a market price of 18 and is still sitting below that with 6 listed. It looks like there are so many copies of this people were kind of shy to buy it out i i feel like this wasn't the market price maybe it has some sales now uh tell me in the comment section down below we see the price for the secret rare from joey's world still sitting about where it was just a dollar above and uh you know you kind of pick and choose we see uh the solemn judgment here though for yugi's world which i would have thought was the rarer one uh oops it, it's sitting at a price that's double its quote-unquote market price let me find that again sorry boyos i clicked where i shouldn't have and now it's disappeared that's weird there it is yugi's world uh so we see it sitting at uh well now it says 893 maybe i'm just losing my mind but uh they're they're both the secret errors are sitting at about nine ten dollars it's it's pretty you know, just up there that most solemns that are harder to get seem to be doubling up. DB2 at $4, it's towards $6 for the heavy play. Now 7 oh, nope, nope, near mint, it's 18 okay. So a lot of them are just going up. We'll see a lot of them settle back down as it's a one of. You should have already had some sort of copy of Solemn Judgment, but I suppose a lot of the newer players don't. Uh, it's the card you'll want in your arsenal. It's a card not everyone is going to play, especially with Trickstars being potentially the best deck. Uh, paying half your life points is no joke against that deck. But it's always nice to stop evenly matched, ain't it? We see uh, Monster Reborn quickly spiking uh, the Retro Pack at... Jeez, uh, I don't even know what a Near Mint's going to cost us. But I just wanted to point out the other variants. Uh, quick, Starting to slowly go up is the Joey's World. The Hobby League over doubled. Uh, we see, oh man, the near mints are already gone for this too. I just refreshed all my tabs as I was like starting. This is crazy. It's completely out. Jeez, for a near mint. Uh, all sorts of crazy things are happening with these old cards that you can't get. They're just getting bought out as expected of banless season and the prices are going to be crazy. Let's, yeah, not even a near mint exists of the retro pack right now on TCG player. Card Trooper DT is going crazy we see it at like five dollars lowest almost uh refresh and they're gone <laughs> i refreshed before i started this this is crazy 
Uh, what is happening? The Air Mint 15. It, it's just kind of that usual thing. People are even buying these at these higher prices. They're getting hyped for it. And they're just completely disappearing as I'm making this market watch. So even by the time I post this up 10 minutes later, if you're watching this hours later, prices might have changed completely. That's what happens on Banlist Day. And we'll be slowly reviewing them through the week, talking about maybe the decks that I missed and other things that I missed. Let me uh, actually find that version of Mind Control I was going to uh, sh take a look at. So let's see here. The super uh, doesn't have a near mint left by the end of this market watch. Ah, new listing, $8. So there is a copy on market already again. You'll see a lot of listings go up during today. You'll see a lot of listings sell today. So if you've seen these cards, you like those prices, make yours the lowest and it just might sell even if it seems ridiculous to you. And uh, it's, it's really up to you on what you should or should not sell. You're obviously making profit if it's uh, most of these cards today and do consider the other decks like the Invoked. Uh, nobody's really looking at it and I think it's a solid contender even though I underestimated it under the last ban list.